On October 14, 2024, three uncrewed aerial vehicles, UAVs, from RTX successfully showcased their advanced capabilities during the U.S. Army's Edge 24 military exercise in Yuma, Arizona. This demonstration marked a pivotal moment for RTX as teams from Collins Aerospace and Raytheon, both divisions of RTX, executed a flight mission that previously existed only in simulation. The UAVs were deployed to scan vast expanses of rugged terrain, identifying potential threats by detecting and assessing risks using RF signals. Within moments, the UAVs recorded their findings and relayed critical information to a command center, which subsequently dispatched additional UAVs to confirm the targets and simulate a strike. This swift relay of information exemplified the enhanced operational efficiency that UAVs can provide in military contexts. One of the most notable aspects of this demonstration was the level of autonomy exhibited by the UAVs. Traditionally, UAVs are utilized for reconnaissance and strike missions, but this event illustrated their capability to operate with minimal human intervention. The drones relied on autonomy to make real-time decisions, a significant evolution in UAV technology. Two pivotal technologies were instrumental in this test, Collins Aerospace's Rapid Edge Mission System and Raytheon's Code Autonomy. Rather than following a set of precise commands or pre-planned routes, the UAVs were assigned a broad objective and were able to communicate with one another to strategize and adapt to any obstacles encountered during their mission. Even when the communication link between the drones and the ground station was severed, simulating a communication-denied environment, the UAVs demonstrated their ability to execute the mission autonomously. They coordinated their actions with Raytheon's Coyote Block 3 system, showcasing their resilience and adaptability in challenging conditions. Bernd Knox, Collins' business development lead, underscored the system's capacity to quickly and effectively disseminate critical data to both Raytheon's team and the U.S. Army's future vertical lift cross-functional team. He emphasized the necessity of timely information sharing to maximize the system's capabilities. The Edge 24 event, also known as the Experimentation Demonstration Gateway event, aimed to test emerging launch defects technologies and their integration within simulated battlefield environments. This exercise is pivotal for the U.S. Army's future vertical lift initiative, which seeks to modernize its rotorcraft fleet. According to Peter Laird, Collins' program manager for autonomy and launched effects, validating the complexities introduced by autonomous behavior can only be effectively achieved through real flight conditions, despite the inherent challenges. The demonstration also highlighted the speed and agility of Collins' Rapid Edge team, which developed the system used in the Edge 24 exercise in just five months. This rapid turnaround was made possible through advanced prototyping, integration, and simulation techniques. Their simulations can execute entire missions in seconds, while hardware in the loop testing effectively combines simulation data with real flight equipment to fine tune performance before the final real world testing. RTX's vision extends beyond merely offering standalone collaborative autonomy capabilities. They are committed to developing flexible platforms capable of performing various mission types. While the systems demonstrated at Edge 24 are still under development, the insights gained from this exercise will undoubtedly play a crucial role in refining and enhancing the technology for future military deployments. The successful demonstration of UAV capabilities at the EDG 24 exercise signifies a substantial leap in military technology, particularly in autonomous systems. RTX's efforts in enhancing UAV technology promise not only to revolutionize reconnaissance and strike missions, but also to contribute significantly to the U.S. Army's modernization initiatives. As the technology continues to evolve, it will be interesting to see how these advancements are integrated into future military operations, further shaping the landscape of modern warfare.